This is my first ever Jackson guitar. Got this guitar in 1985 or 86, somewhere at that point in time. We were going in to do our very first album and I needed a guitar with a Floyd Rose. Starting to write some crazy dive bomb solo sections. It's got some very notable uh, battle wound here from, I can even re remember the exact moment when that happened because it's a crazy story. We were on tour in 1990 for our album Act Three. And we were in Florida. This band Forbidden was opening the show while well, they were supporting. We had just finished sound check and we were across the street getting something to eat and we heard a huge crash. We go running over there. Light truss had fallen on the stage. It fell on our drummer Andy's drum kit. He would have been crushed at that moment had he, had he been at his kit where we were just there sound checking minutes before. And on the stage was this guitar laying on the stage like this. I knew this was not gonna be good, and it wasn't. This here is clearly the reverse of the one that you just saw. So this is the next guitar I got. This one is in really good shape considering the decades of use it had gone through. Um, just some belt, belt buckle scrapes there, but not much, not much, no, no battle wounds to notate on this. You know, I did the, the, the double dots and the single dot at the 12th fret to be uh, totally reversed from the other one. And um, a noteworthy thing about this guitar, this is actually the second version that they built me of this guitar. There was a, an original, but um, I don't have time for that story right now. You'll have to hear about that later. A purple soloist. Got this in uh, 86 or 87. Bought this at Guitar Center in Hollywood. When we were about to record our second album, Frolic Through the Park. And this is in the, one of the videos our song board and um this is literally the only uh non pointy guitar i play i played live for a point of time and i just as much as i love this guitar i just i couldn't do it the shape is just it's just too weird for me. cyrus likes it this is a really special one this is the prototype of my signature death angel guitar first one ever that was built back in 1989, Grover Jackson and Mike Shannon teamed up to build this beauty, which I sketched on a napkin, made up this shape, and then it was reality. And I played this guitar, one of the most I ever played on tour. So this has got a lot of chunks taken out of it here. Battle scars there. Looks like uh, someone got hungry. And anyway, back to this guitar prototype. All right, now we're getting to the guitars that are currently in use in my arsenal. And this blue dragon here has got the beautiful finish. At one time, this horn was busted completely off and the amazing luthiers at Jackson Custom Shop just fixed that right up for me. You can't even tell anymore. Now there's some other chunks taken out, you know, but that's par for the course when you use these guitars live. That's why this one's not going on the road anymore. Retired from the road. My Randy Rhodes Jackson. You may have had this out a couple shows I played with it, but overall, as much as I love and idolize the shape, still it's just a bit odd for me live. So this just goes in the collection. Now this one is just too damn purdy to, to get battle wounds on. The only thing I got on this one is just like these little guys right here and even that broke my heart. Even that broke my heart. I don't want to take this one on tour, but it, it's got to come sometime. So I'm hoping for the best. This is the first one I ever had made in mahogany. It's got these owl inlays. It's just, it's just so purdy. This is my latest newest guitar this is a crazy one this one's made out of koa hawaiian koa with a brazilian purple heart clearly i'm into the natural finish these days and this definitely satisfies this guitar also has passive pickups and no floyd rose 
A lot of firsts on this for one of my guitars. This guitar sounds friggin' amazing. And now we continue the thrashed episode from the road. Now I'm on tour. I'm in Vegas tonight at the House of Blues. And I gotta show you this guy. This guy's got some road wear. Uh, this one I've had for a while, the Red Dragon. And you know, just little bits and chunks taken out of it. But it's always on the points, you know, the horns get it. You know, you mess with the dragon, you get the horns. Now we're getting to my favorite road dragons of all. This is Blackie. Uh, it's got many names, Black Dragon, whatever. But you know, this one's got the bat inlays, so sick. It's all black on black. And uh, I usually play this one in the drop C sharp songs. It's got its cracks and crevices. There you can see I had to glue that part back on. And uh, there goes Lealtus from Exodus walking by. This one's the perk for obvious reasons. Um, fairly newer, so I've taken care of this well. It's been on the road a few times. It doesn't have too many battle wounds. Um, I did chunk this end off, but I, I glued it back. So you can't really tell. I did a good job gluing it. There's a couple little chunks out of there, but to be expected. And the last one, which is the newest addition to the touring ensemble. And this is the all mahogany, the latest beauty that Mike Shannon built for me. And yeah, there you go. It's got mahogany inlays on the rosewood fretboard, glow in the dark uh, Luminlay Jackson logo and 12th fret. And you know, I don't want to jinx it and say anything about the fact that it doesn't have too much, you know, damage so far. Just some dents are starting to happen. I expect things will happen, but for now, it's immaculate. Thanks for watching, Thrashed.